The Austrian healthcare system offers extensive protection for parents and their children. Whether mother-child pass, birth preparation, or maternity leave, and child care allowance. In this Start Veen video, you will learn what parents to be should know. Pregnancy marks the beginning of a new chapter in a family's life. The most important document that guides you through this process is the mother-child passport, which all pregnant women residing in Austria receive. It is a kind of manual for the most important examinations of mother and child. A large number of examinations in the mother-child pass are free of charge at panel doctors. Persons with their main residence in Austria who are not insured, for whom there is no entitlement, even as family members, can also be examined free of charge as part of the mother-child pass. From 2024, the yellow mother-child passport will be replaced by the digital parent-child passport. The digital version will be multilingual and include additional consultations and examinations. Attention, some examinations in this passport are mandatory in order to receive child care benefits in full. My tip, with the mother-child passports, you can get the diaper changing backpack from the city of Vienna. In addition to gifts for the baby, you will find all important documents there. What other preparations need to be made? Let's take a look with an example. Mona and Stefan are expecting their first child. Mona's gynecologist confirms her pregnancy and hands Mona the mother-child passport. The expected date of birth is calculated to be March 30th. Mona has to register for the birth at a clinic in time. At private clinics, you can register directly and pay the cost yourself. Public clinics are free for 10 days from the insured case of maternity, and the registration is done via the website geburtsinfo.wien. There, Mona chooses three desired clinics and is assigned a place after the 22nd week of pregnancy. Stefan or another person can be present at the birth. This is common practice in Austria. Birth preparation includes a midwife consultation. You are also entitled to midwife assistance at home for the weeks after delivery, the postpartum period. There are midwives with health insurance contracts and private midwives. My tip, use the free consultation to find and get to know your postpartum midwife in time. She is the expert for birth and baby care. In a family center of the city of Vienna, Emma Elf, Mona and Stefan get their free diaper changing backpack. This backpack is a gift from the city with baby accessories and documents folder. In addition, family centers offer free counseling and courses such as birth preparation or postpartum gymnastics. In the second trimester, Mona informs her employer that she is pregnant. Eight weeks before the expected date of birth and eight weeks after delivery, she is under maternity protection. That means she is not allowed to work. In case of premature birth, C-section, or multiple births, it is 12 weeks. Since Mona was employed and fully insured before her maternity leave, she received the so-called maternity allowance from UGK instead of a salary. The amount of the maternity allowance depends on your net salary in the last three months before the start of maternity leave. Note, weekly allowance is also paid by the BVAB or SVS as a fixed amount. Stefan also informs his employer three months before birth because he wants to take the so-called Papa Monat, Daddy Month. He can take this time off within 91 days of the birth at the earliest when mother and child are discharged from the hospital. The time has finally come. Daughter Aylin is born at the end of March. Who stays with the child now and what happens next? In the first month, Mona and Stefan stay together at home with Aylin. Mona is still on maternity leave. Stefan is now on Papa Monat and applies for the family time bonus from the Austrian Health Insurance Fund. Working parents in Austria are entitled to parental leave until their child's second birthday. You must inform your company of your start of parental leave within legal notification deadlines. 
During parental leave, you are protected against termination. In addition, Mona and Stefan are entitled to child care allowance, which they can apply for via the Sozialversicherung.at website. They set the withdrawal period at 15 months, 12 months for Mona plus three months for dad. They have to choose from two systems, the flat rate child care allowance account and the income dependent child care allowance. Attention, for the flat rate child care allowance, there is an individual limit for your additional earnings for the period of withdrawal. This amounts to approximately 60% of the last income. My tip, you can use the online calculator of the Ministry of Family Affairs in order to calculate the different options for child care allowance. The Vienna Chamber of Labor, Arbeiterkammer Wien, also offers free advice. Already in the first week of life, you need to go to the pediatrician. My tip, choose your pediatrician during pregnancy and organize as much as possible before birth. Always take your mother-child passport with you. There you will also find the child's vaccination certificate. The recommended vaccinations are free of charge. Your new family member will also require you to go through administrative procedures. You can obtain a birth certificate from the relevant registry office. There you can also apply for a registration form and for Austrians for proof of citizenship. If neither parent is an Austrian citizen, you must apply for a residence permit for the newborn at the MA35. Otherwise, you will not receive family assistance. By the way, children are co-insured with their parents in Austria and receive their own e-card. In addition, the parents are entitled to family allowance until the child reaches the age of 18. In some cases, this can also be paid out until the child reaches the age of 24 or beyond. You can get more information about this from the tax office. My tip, seek support for childcare and register for a kindergarten place in good time. Find out more in the video, Kindergarten and Childcare.